Hello everyone, my name is Ashish and uh, in this video I am going to make you understand what is row context and what is filter context. So let's start with the filter context. So here I have a table visual and uh, then I have a slicer. So if I if I consider this cell on this table which is 1556.85 so this particular cell is being affected by multiple number of filters okay what are those filters so first of all we have a visual level filter that is on segment and discount then comes the slicer filter on product so these two are external filters for this table visual and also there is some internal filters that is being applied on that particular cell that is the country france and year 2013 so all these internal and external filters combined is known as filter context for that particular cell. Okay, so that's why uh, it says filter context filters the data model. Now let's move ahead to the row context. As it says row context iterates the table. So if I move to the data view and suppose I have a table now if i create a new column i will just make a dummy column and i will multiply units sold by manufacturing price units sold multiplied by manufacturing price so if i consider this calculated column what it is doing it is multiplying units sold and manufacturing price from the first row and then it is moving to the second row and in the second row it is searching for the units sold and the manufacturing price and multiplying them and returning this second value similarly it's uh, doing a row by row execution and uh, it's returning the values at each row so this is the concept of row context so if you consider the first cell of this calculated column for this the row context is whole first row this whole second row is the row context for that second value so i hope you are able to understand what is row context and what is filter context so that was it for this video if you liked my video do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you